In this segment, I'm going to use Gregory Nagy's interpretation of the relationship between Homeric epic, in particular the Iliad, and hero cult as a way of talking about how community and polis can be so closely related uh, in ways that go beyond, uh, so closely related to Homeric epic in ways that go beyond just looking at Iliad 23 and Odyssey 2 and how they create a kind of imaginary way of looking at the polis because there are more specific connections to be made given some of the cultural material we have surrounding what is called the reception of Homer, that is, uh, the way that people in the 400s BCE, that is the 5th century BCE in Athens, dealt with Homer. And here we're talking about Greek tragedy, we're talking about Thucydides, the first historian, Herodotus, uh, somebody who isn't quite a historian but is in the historical arena, and then maybe most of all Plato, uh, and the way that all of them deal with the legacy of Homer and the way that they conceive the relationship between Homeric epic and what it is that they're doing in their Athens, uh, the Great Polis. Perhaps the Great Polis because we have the most information about it and all of that information, or almost all of it, seems to celebrate it. But here is the starting point, which is what Naj uh, does with that episode in Iliad 23, the funeral games for Patroclus, and the funeral that precedes the funeral games for Patroclus that I talked about in the last segment. If uh, you're in Gaming Homer and you've got the Naj volume, we're on page 116. The hero of cult must be local because it is a fundamental principle in Greek religion that his power is local. Okay, so we're talking about heroes for individual regions in Greece. On the other hand, the Iliad and the Odyssey are pan-Hellenic. What Naj means by that is that the Iliad and the Odyssey, because they come from a tradition of bards who traveled all over the Greek world at the time, are pan-Hellenic. They're for all of Greece, and therefore what we have in them are the stories of two heroes, Achilles and Odysseus, who are, in a certain sense, without regional portfolio. That is, they can be heroes for everybody. Ithaca is a tiny island, um, and Thea, the region that Achilles comes from, is a tiny region which was really not even actually populated in the time that the bars uh, were singing about that. What results is that the central heroes of this epic tradition cannot have an overtly religious dimension in the narrative, because religions are local, as he said at the beginning of the paragraph. Such a restriction on the self-expression of epic led Rhoda, he's the guy who wrote the big book on hero cult uh, early in the 20th century, to misunderstand the Homeric evidence on heroes. In general, his thesis, that is Rhoda's thesis, was that the overall Homeric silence on the subject of hero cults implies an absence of even the ideological background. Now, Naj is saying that's not true, and obviously I agree with Naj. In, the, in specifics, however, Rhoda himself noticed sporadic instances in the Iliad and the Odyssey where some sort of reference is indeed being made to hero cults, but he did not integrate this evidence which went against his thesis. Each of these instances would require a detailed exposition, but I restrict the discussion here to just one instance that reflects on the status of Patroclus, Achilles, and the Iliad. And this is going to be the funeral. Now, Naj has to do this because Rhoda is the authority on hero cult and Rhoda thought there was no hero cult in the Iliad and the Odyssey. Naj has to disprove that. Um, it's fairly easy to disprove. Uh, and then he focuses in on the thing that we were focusing on in the last segment um, in Iliad 23. As Rhoda himself had noticed, the funeral of Patroclus at Iliad 23 has several features that connote the rituals of hero cults. For example, the wine libation and the offering of honey with oil can hardly be regarded as anything but sacrificial, and that's a quotation from Rhoda. Such marginal details of cult, as also the integral element of singing lamentations, give ritual form to the akos of Achilles for Patroclus, the pain, the, the ache, that's where we get our word ache. Even the central epic action of Book 23, the funeral games of Patroclus, has ritual form. Okay, so first of all, he's confirming what I've said. Uh, about the Iliad 23, uh, about the funeral games being an, a moment of hero cult. Um, but beyond that, and here's something where I'm kind of expanding a bit on what Naj says, 
Beyond that, what we can see is how the hero cult leads towards community um, and the way that the relationship of the Homeric tradition to the heroes can carry us forward into the reception of Homer in the 5th century through people like Plato.